Top of the middle of the day to you boys and girls. We're in the woodlot for another little test drive session today for your viewing pleasure. We're going to do some sawing with a 346 XP, although it says E-Tex on, on the placard. It's actually sporting a 50 um, CC factory big bore kit. I think the bore on that's 43, excuse me, 42.3, no, 44.3 I think the bore is. Uh, I think the stroke comes in at about 32 millimeters. The still, um, it's a 55.6 cc machine, I think it is, also with a 32 millimeter stroke, but it has a 47 millimeter bore, so it's quite a bit more displacement. However, it's more of a smog design engine. Um, it's a clamshell design, actually, so the bottom of the cases, or excuse me, the top of the cases are actually included in the bottom of the cylinder. That's all cast as a unit. Um, the 346 has a little bit older porting style, so the flow is a little bit better, especially for making power. They're both dual ported exhaust. You can see I rhinoized the MS-291. And we also did some bad boy black on the muffler. Um, we're doing some experimentation a little bit here and there. I kind of like the way it looks versus the stainless. You can see we have two tubes coming out of the exhaust on the 346, so there's no flow encumbrance whatsoever. So the flow is a little bit better, giving up 6 cc's. We'll see how it does. We do have a 24 inch um, Samora lightweight bar on this saw for the test drive, and we're sporting 325 pitch chain, and it is full comp. Um, we'll see how it works in the wood and we're going to make two cuts I think I mentioned that and we're going to change out the chain on the 291 let's take a moment of silence for all of those that are suffering from the hurricanes and the flooding and the earthquakes worldwide I guess we can hope and pray that those that were lost in that process were in a better place because they were saved. Uh, let us hope and pray that those that are around, uh, like us, actually looking at it from the peripheral, have an opportunity to help in whatever, whatever capacity we might, that we could and would. Um, we're using Convoy of Hope at our house, actually, um, as one avenue. But anyway, two runs. Let's see how they compare. Hey! <laughs> 
So it's important to note that I let the saw and chain do its thing in the first cut of both those test runs. In the second cut in both those test runs I was actually helping a little bit with the handlebars. The chain could use a little help with the stops. However, they both pulled pretty good. Seemed to handle that bar length very well. I'm really curious to see how the time comparison actually comes out with these two. Um, my email address in the description area. If you're interested in port work, please shoot me an email. We can get started if you're interested. And thanks for watching this session. Please have a blessed day wherever you might be on God's green earth.